can you see? She's beautiful. How come you're not in school? I'm a model. Cool. Do you want to be in a video for my band? Do you want to be in a video for my band? He doesn't have a band at all. We need to form a band. <laughs> and that's his way of impressing her. When I was a kid, this one girl who used to carry her bag kind of like a baby, and she was like sultry and she was 13 and I was 12. I passed her every day, but I never had the nerve to go up and ask her, you know, who she was. Have we been down the square already? Uh, no. So the film is about what is it like to go up to somebody when you're that young and you don't know what's gonna happen next. You've got really good cheekbones. What? Yeah, you should let me do your makeup. Casting the film, I made up my mind that if I didn't get the kid, I wouldn't make the film. Ferdy was there at the very first audition, and he was there at the last audition. He showed this lovely, steady level of improvement through all the auditions, which an actor really needs to have. <laughs> Lucy Boynton, she's a very, very gifted actress. What the hell, Rufina? She put herself on tape and sent it over to us, and that was definitely a eureka moment. Why'd you do that then? For our art, Cosmo. You can never do anything by half. Do you understand that? And the two of them together just had this great sort of chemistry. You know, the fact that girls are always that little bit more precocious and grown up than boys, and she's sort of aloof and above it, but she kind of thinks he's cute. I'm sorry. I was. Great is what it was. Fair play. And it's just that awkwardness between them that was kind of perfect. Take three. And turn over. And then the band were just a bunch of kids that came in that made me laugh. Like Ben, with that hair, and just told stories about being in school, and it was like, he's in. And then Mark came in, and Mark was like, I don't, I don't want to be an actor. I just, you know, I'm a musician, so I, I don't really, I hate films. I was like, he's in. And Connor Hamilton from Pier Street was this kid who came in with all his energy. Here we go. And just one by one, they kind of came together. And it was like forming a band. Okay, very good, again. You are truly on a hero's journey. Are you up to that? I think she's just an amazing human being. The films in the 80s, like The Breakfast Club and Back to the Future and stuff, really had that heart. And I think Sing Street really captures it. It's got that kind of emotion that people really relate to. So by making this movie, I get to get the girl, I get to form the band, and I get to basically fulfill all the things that I couldn't do as a wimpy kid. <laughs> no woman can truly love a man who listens to Phil Collins.